H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. And then check in the drop box or the drop down if you have the address available. Okay, click on the go button. Yes, click on that go button. Just wait, do it slowly. Okay, and then click on the authenticate. Login. Okay, just wait for some time Rohini, it will logging in, okay, maybe you are logging in for the first time, right, so it will be making some settings, okay, so do you see Rohini, you have logged in, now you can start creating the requirement, alright, okay, so, um, next we have Russell, so we don't list the individual steps in the quality center, do we, Okay, Russell, see, whenever it is a quality center, you know, again, there is not much of difference, whatever you have prepared in the RTM, right? The same way you have to list the requirements in the quality center also. Okay, Russell, even in the quality center, in the same way you are creating the requirements, the same description you write, the same name you write, okay? And the same hierarchy you maintain, it's all done in the same way. Okay, Russell, if you have any other questions other than that, please let me know. And Rohini, you can start using this one. Then I have a request from next participant, Shilpa. Okay. I have a question. Vinit is also writing the modified date reviewer in the requirements. You should not write it, Shilpa. Okay? Vineet, please don't write it. So, you should not write the modified date and the reviewer. Leave it as blank. It will be filled out when the reviewer is going to review it. Okay? If you are writing it, please don't write it. Then, Divi, I was using and I am not able to view it now. Okay, Divi, I will make you the presenter. Please show me your screen. Okay? Russell, if you have any more question, you can please let me know. I make you the presenter, Divya. Please share your screen.
Okay, Divya, I have unmuted you. So you have got the sky tab, is it? Okay, do unmute yeah, yes, click on that sky tab button. Priya, I was using this until now. Sudden of a sudden it went. I don't know what happened. Uh -huh. Yeah, please click on it. Let's check. Okay, so now click on that image that you can see in the bottom. No, not that one. Yes, that image. Please click on that. Just click on the allow. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, go to that sky tap. Um, what is here it is mentioned using the Chrome or Mozilla update so what you do is use it in the Google Chrome Divya do you see that it is mentioned please wait for the link and then wait for five minutes use it in the Google Chrome or the Mozilla copy and paste it in the Mozilla or the Google Chrome Hello Priya. Yes, click on that give permission. Okay, do one thing. He has given you the link, right? To um, install the Java update. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, click on the Java update and then install the Java update. I have done this Priya. Mm -hmm. But why it is not logging in? I was I was using Mercury also. Sudden of a sudden it disappeared. I was just using for uh, Bambino Express um, currency mm -hmm. converter okay. also. Then you need sudden, to with them, you know, because this SkyTap is maintained by them. Okay, like you was uh, there was a call for you from there was a request. You just shared that screen and that disappeared. My screen got disappeared. Okay, so that cannot happen Divya if I share others computer so nothing can happen to your computer So what you do is you know check if you know there is some issue from their side Okay, it is working or not. Okay. Okay, Priya. Yeah Okay, Karishma you can share your screen and uh, let me resolve your doubts Okay, Karishma, I make you the presenter. Please share your screen. Ramona and Srirata have noted. Okay, Karishma, what is your question? Yes. Uh Priya, I have a question saying that, that uh, you taught on that day how to copy paste. It's as sim it's simple like the, what we de do in other, uh, I mean it is in Microsoft, like, like just we copy this and if I want to paste it, I'll bring it here and I'll say paste. Now I want to paste it as a sibling or just paste, it paste. That's what it was? Yes. Okay, so this is done. Now the, my question is that if I have created anything as a child, uh, requirements so can I later create it as a new requirement or can I bring it under a new requirement yes you can do that so how do I do that I mean to say cut and paste it. In quick cut and paste it that's what see if I have in quick user tools right in that mm -hmm. link if I go over here uh, in the Bombino Express see in quick user tools we have all these things what I made it under child requirement so what I want everything to come under child requirement, currency okay. converter then yes. But this the global, global locations you coming. want under one second global locations you want under quick user tools, right? 
Okay, so right click on that global locations, cut it. Okay. Select the quick cut user it. tools. Okay. And then paste it. Not just paste it or paste just it. Just paste it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is it fine now? Okay. Okay. So again, like whatever the things are there, so this green thing means that these are under quick user tools. These are child requirements of these? Yes. Child requirements. Okay. So the these child requirements always appear in green? No, that or is how it is configured. I mean, that is just a look and feel that is made over there. Okay. Okay, and again, I have a question. Like everybody is asking, what about the no run and not covered? These things again. I just want to. These things are not clear. See, no run means never executed. Not completed means it okay. is incomplete. Okay. Okay. One more question is that see, uh, when we used to create our RTM for say Bombino Express, so we used to do it like that, like valid amount and everything. We used to write everything in detail, right? Enter valid mm -hmm. amount. This is my requirement page about the currency converter. Okay. The same thing when I go here in Bombino Express and I open this. So how do we have to write this all in requirements in detail? Where do we have to write? And how do we check the validity, invalid values, blank values? See, for you know, the Bombino Express, this is the main requirement, right? So we had written FR001 mm -hmm. and under that we had given the description that the Bombino Express homepage opens and all that. So you can write right. it. Do you see here? This go to www.bombinoexpress main page. So that right. you can write right. it right. over here. And when you try so to create thing? it for valid amount so under that valid amount you can write the description that corresponds to the valid amount so everything that we prepared in excel about say considering four conditions saying for blank for invalid valid amount so that all has to be written in one description yes in one description and even the values that to need to be tested like it accepts only numeric value or it is no, 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 see here value. one second Karishma see one second okay please okay. try to understand here it is a Bombino Express main requirement correct okay so under this you write Bombino Express um, home page opens with the URL www dot okay. so that description you write it over here okay and under this I think you have created something like quick user tools so write the description about the quick user tools or yes our services okay. or quick user tools so write the description okay. about the quick user tools or let's say our okay. services under the our services these are the services that are available for example rates is available and whatever services are available you can write it for the our services okay okay so we can write as much as detail we want in the description thing Yes, same like your RTM, no difference at all. Okay, so it's like same thing like quick user tools, we enter the URL, then the page gets open, but there were same a set thing. of steps, right? Same thing. Yes. Okay, and how? Uh, the, if I have to check valid value, invalid value, that also has to be written? Yes. Some, for you particular write, page it is same used. like your RTM. Okay, 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 okay. I yeah. got it, I got it. Okay, thank you. Okay, Jayashree, I'm making you the presenter. So you can share your screen. Okay, Jayashree, let me unmute you. So go to the start, Jayashree. All programs. Okay, do you see there is a last option, Quality Center? QC Explorer, please select that. 
Okay, click on the drop down. You don't have the URL? Okay. So do you see that in your Mozilla Firefox there is Suresh 8080 QC bin? Can you please copy and paste that? Yes. Yes, click on the go button now. Authenticate. Okay, enter the user ID and then authenticate. Uh, what username should I use here? Admin. admin. Alex underscore QC. And the password. Password is blank. Click on the authenticate. Should we have to use the login now? Use the login. Priya, do we have to start this thing every time uh, with the same uh, procedure or can we start it uh, directly? We need to, you know, uh, follow the same steps. Oh, every time I open this, uh, should I have to follow the same steps? Let's follow the same steps. Okay, Priya. Um, I will. Uh, I'll do the thing right now uh, in the in the quality center, and I'll. Uh, if I have any doubts, I'll uh, ask you. Ramona, I have made you the presenter. Can you please uh, tell me what your question is? You have the doubts in rearranging the requirements, right? Yes, please show me that one. Yes, tell me what is your question, Ramona? Okay, yes. Uh, I have uh, created Bombina Express and then below that actually uh, I have written enter amount. I don't want that. Like, uh, I want this Bombina Express currency converter to come at top. So, how can I do that? Okay, cut that uh, Bombina Express currency converter, select it and then cut it. Okay. Then go to the Bombino Express and then paste it. Uh, no, I want it above the enter amount. Okay, so cut that enter amount. Select that Bombino Express Currency Converter. 
and then paste it there. Okay, so uh, and here my doubt was like, uh, uh, is this correct? Like below Bombina Express, Bombina Express currency converter, and there's no need of this enter amount, right? Below Bombina Express currency converter only, I can write valid data, invalid data, and blank data, right? Yes, you can do that. Okay, okay so there is no need of this enter amount. No. Okay, so this is correct, my approach. Yes. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you. Okay, in the currency converter page, do we need to create the requirements for inputs and then? Yes, Srilata, you have to create it. Okay. Then, when to use the child requirements and requirements? Okay, Divya, when you are creating the main requirement, use the new requirement. Okay, that is the first button. And every time you are uh, creating the child requirement, means except the first time, Go for the new child requirement, that is second button. Okay? Fine. So, in case you have still any kind of doubts, again we will take it up in the tomorrow session. And um, I will show you one more requirement and then we will go to the next module of the quality center. Okay? So, try to practice it today. I have sent you the recorded sessions. Please go through the recorded sessions and if anybody have the technical issues, Please make sure that you know they are clarified. Okay. And then we will meet tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern again. Take care everyone. Thank you. Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.